In a sacramental moment, we know from this long history two things happen. We act and God acts too. We come together our whole lives and we perform a drama, a play. We stage the significant moments, acting out the parts and finding in the drama meaning. And God steps into the human production, acting in our wills, forming our emotion, guiding our intellects and affecting our bodies. In a word, God graces us, empowers us to be more completely whole. We have a great human inheritance in these sacramental moments, a real opportunity to tie into profound spirituality. So the sacraments, the sacraments are points of contact for us with God. Now, let's be clear about something. Yes, you can turn your pages. If God is omnipresent, if God is in all places at all times, can we ever not be in contact with God? It's absolutely impossible. But consciously, in our experience, we go through huge chunks of our day not conscious of God's presence. It's not that God isn't there, but we're focused and distracted and running after other things. And so sacraments are those points when we come into the awareness of our contact and our interaction with God, okay? I, 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 we're going to talk about change and shifting and one of these things that I'm really passionate about that really burns in my heart is that we have to grow up in the way we pray. We have to stop saying things like, oh God, please be with me today. This is standing so far away from God as God truly is. Or we have to stop praying, oh God, please be with my son as he's at that party and I'm scared and he... Please be with him. We're standing way over there again. Instead, we need to learn to, to pray in confidence. Thank you, God, that you are here. Give me the grace to recognize your presence. Thank you, God, that you were with my son. May you grant him the grace to be aware of your loving presence right there, right now where he is. And in so doing, we move from that far away, distant, imaginary, lonely, desolate place closer to the all-loving God whose love is absolute and unbreakable. Hmm? 